Yeah. We found him! Yay. <laughs> okay, go. So Dad is making a joint. So I cut half of the wires off. Oh, don't show the brand. <laughs> we are in Mexico though. Oh, we've had a very productive week. It So after a bit of investigating, I found a group of people having breakfast a few streets over. And the guy said, oh, the dog's out the front of my house. He came for a drink. So we found him. I have to fix his bandage up a little bit, but he's here. Hey, and he's letting me give him a big pat. Hey, Maud. And you're lying the other way down, which is maybe good. Oh, I know, Papa. Huh? Good boy. As I said in the previous video, I was trying to approach little Blanquito very calmly and slowly so I wouldn't scare him. Before giving an injection to a dog like this, I try to desensitize the area by roughly patting them and gently lifting the skin up repeatedly. As you can see, it does help, but it's not perfect. Sorry, darling. Lo siento, amor. I'm sorry. I'm not. Sorry, darling boy, huh? I'm sorry. We'll bring you some food. Good boy. What's, what's your goal today? Um... Or this morning. Work over here in the shade. Maybe get on that side a bit. Uh -huh. See over there. Yep. And then follow the shade to the other side of the boat. Yeah. And then do it over there. This like the pitting is basically just one of these jobs that every single day someone's doing bit by bit by bit by bit because it just is a huge there's a amount of, of it. it. Mm. There's a lot of it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, there's probably too many people inside to do inside today. So yeah. Shade. Oh, you've got one in. Yeah. Cool. And I think it needs um, another layer uh, epoxy. Epoxy, yeah, yeah, just to make it a bit stronger. Have, like, a nice. On, uh, on the battery, somehow, someplace. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So you got these two. They'll they switch the negatives. That won't switch into positive. So basically the plan right now is we're going to put a negative bus bar in to run all the heavy cables to and then just have one cable run into the on off switch kind of thing, our isolator, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. What do you That's need? That's the plan, Sheridan. Yes. Cool. Nice steady oh. hand there. Surgeon's hand. Surgeon's hand, yeah. We were all working on different jobs and I was installing the through holes in between all of this filming. So we don't have a, like a crimp, um, what do you call those things? A terminal about kind of thing. Crimp. About crimp for this size wire. So dad is making a joint. So I've cut half of the wires off. Uh-huh. On each side. A bit of heat shrink here. Oh, yeah. That's loud. A bit of heat shrink here to put over it when I'm finished. And I'll slide those down like that. And then wrap some cotton wire around it. And then solder it to make okay. the heat shrink over the top. Probably never seen wow. this done before and you'll never see it done again. <laughs> so Dad said this is kind of an old school way of joining wires. How's that? Perfect. That's not coming undone.
Yeah, no, it came and undone. And then you just heat shrink over the top? Heat shrink over the top, you gotta to wait for it to cool a bit first. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Oh, it's quick. Yeah. Looks a bit better than it did before. There's that. Beautiful. That's the final one fitted. Yay! There's only a three week process to get through all this. <laughs> oh, boot jobs. Is that working all right? Yep. Okay. Just to like hang a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> go on an angle. Mm. I'm just gonna get four new ones and then mm. you want me to pretend to pull it apart. Yeah, pull it apart yeah, and then I'll show just, me. I'll just pretend to drill it out. <laughs> you ready? Ready. Yeah. Oh, so it's just because it's dirty. Yeah. Is that it? Corrode. Right. Yeah. Ah. Thirty degrees copper. Yeah. It's not making contact. So let me take that out. Oh, and that'll fix it, eh? That'll clean that up. Need some sandpaper. Some sandpaper. Okay. It's way better. A little better. Oh, oh thanks. Mm. I wonder if you can hear me crunching on the video. <laughs> <laughs> As the wiring continued and took us into the very late afternoon. Dad is discovering how boat jobs go, but he got it all fixed up for now. Oh, Wait. anyway, it's fixed, yeah. Cool, well done, Daddy. Wiring, yay. Well, Mum and I have spent probably two hours yesterday and an hour and a bit today looking for our little dog friend, but he's being very elusive. But we now have about, I don't know, do you reckon 25 people probably all looking for him? So hopefully in the next couple of days he turns up again. I suspect he must have just gone down a back street where we just can't find him. It's, there's a lot of windy little maze streets around. So hopefully we find him in the next, next day or two. We'll just keep looking every day, but... Yeah, but we found the other dog to give some treatment to and we just injected a little ivermectin in the sausage. We'll see if it works. Hey, Betty, don't look. Yum. Oh, good darling. You ate your ivermectin right up. Hopefully that helps a little bit, hey? We'll have to come visit you in a week. Good Betty, though. What a good kid, huh? Much better. There was another dog yesterday. We ended up going to their house and talked to them about treatment because it had a really bad skin problem. And we also went and talked to the Centre of Health about having a campaign. So we have other things moving. And so Mum's cleaning up the um, cutting boards for the two sinks that I said I hated and now have fallen back in love with so that we can put them, put them in the kitchen. We really could not find good replacement options. So we're just going to live with the round and make them pretty again. Yes. They actually look really good, Mum. They look pretty. And Lena's also working on making things more functional and pretty for our um, gas cabinet in the back of the boat. We'll also be a lot safer because we'll be able to lock the gas up uh, in the very back compartment like it's meant to be. So yeah, everyone's working and I have an order. It should be a stove and hatches, but we need to check that everything's in there. Exciting. One stove. Ooh, la, la. Look at oh, oh, nice. Look at that. Whoa. There's no oven. Yeah, yeah there's an oven. Oh, yeah, there. oh, it looks so nice. And we'll be able to start it without a. Um, happy dance, happy dance. We'll be able to start it without a lighter and probably control the flame size and have two burners and not have it slam open. Mm -hmm. What's in the other box? Oh, your hatches. Other box, other box, other box. I think this is the hatches, yeah. I just hope it's all of them, because Defender didn't have them all. 
and they had to get them in, but it just doesn't look like it's going to be all of them. Yeah, it's not. It's just standard as much. Oh, well, there's a fair few in there. It might be all of them. Let's see. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be replacing ours. So Dad's in the kitchen. Jim's drilling. Mum's going to get cleaning. Lena's epoxying slash fixing Thing. all the little bits of wood. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw you on the windlass. <laughs> and I'm... Um. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Bearing. Some sort of bearing. Yeah, this one this this part will actually be moving as well, like you have a, you're having a hole in here. Yeah. So you would just move it yeah. forward and after to uh, as your manual um yeah, like yeah. manual wind. Yeah, yeah. As part of the hull inspections and windlass repairs, we decided to take the anchors and chain out of the locker. We lay it down in five meter increments to help us later when we mark the chain again. just um just kind of started i was just doing around the edges and i was thinking what i might do is get the real skinny one and actually go like in these very tiny corners oh where the things meet yeah like maybe if i use the um the pointed one i might be able to just yeah. kind of <laughs> yeah is my thoughts and then um yeah i'll just keep dividing this section and just doing bit by bit yeah, and i've um, been making very small yeah. little things you have to because it's so like Otherwise, there's just so many holes like yeah. really all you can do is like an almost an inch strip at a time and then you lose yeah. sight of the tree in the forest or some shit. You lose sight of the trees in the forest, yeah. You lose sight of the trees and you lose, I don't know, there's some saying like that. <laughs> um, I quit. Can't see the forest of the trees. Can't see the forest of the trees. Yeah. There, there you go. go. We found That's it. it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I put your clothes and stuff in this. Oh, red thanks, bag. babe. Yeah, I'll want to shower later. Um, I've got a taxi like coming a... at five. Okay. You going by yourself? Yeah, it seems like everyone's cranking, so. Okay. I'll have one, Dan. Alright. Okay, I've got to get some um, another bottle of wine, so. It's beer o'clock for everybody, except me being a non beer drinker. <laughs> Don't show the brand. <laughs> we are in Mexico, though. Oh, we've had a very productive week. We've pulled apart windlasses, engines, done a bunch of burring out, pitting we and holes. Be. We've done wiring. The collective we individuals have done it, but we've all been involved. Sanding. Um, we've chased down a bunch of dogs on the street. Yeah, we've, we've done a really big week, but we're slowly but surely achieving things. But. Every day is getting closer and closer, but I think we've got a couple more weeks oh, ahead of us. Oh, and the kitchen's pretty much done too. Hey, Gordito, me little fatty. Oh, he's a little fatty, isn't he? <laughs> hey, Baba, you're looking so good, aren't you? You look so much better. Hey, my handsome boy, you said I had my medication today, didn't you? I had my medication today. Lena sound like they might not be obeying my mandatory <laughs> day off command. We're gonna go out. We'll see. I'm hoping they eat so many pancakes that they won't do it. <laughs> we'll see. 
nobody I'll obeys my We're keen to get this bloody wheel off this. Nobody wind. obeys my <laughs> mandatory day off command. <laughs> well, I'm having a mandatory day no off. No one to shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got made a friend. Aquí and aquí, gracias. The next day, I was able to figure out the recipe for a successful day off. A pancake breakfast, beach beers, and a big fried meal. We found him because someone's taken him in. Do you mind filming a little bit, Mama? No. Hola, Tero. <laughs> Tell her we've been looking for him for a few days. Yeah. I see Bien, so posible es la espina. Sí. Pero yo tengo un anti-inflammatorio, yeah, y un antibiótico, y un poco otro cosas para él. Esto. La chicha. Sí, sí, no sé qué hay al comer, pero. Sí. No, sí. Hey. Para la pastilla. No, ahí está. Ahora se lo daría la pastilla. ¿No? Fuera, dame la pastilla. Ah, sí. Sí, para mí, él es un poco. Acaricia, acaricia. Ah, she's putting it in. Ah, sí. Oh, él es muy amable con, ah. con, con ah. el. el, el <laughs> No, con ella lo toma. Oh, well, oh. okay, bien, perfecto. Okay. She's saying right now. Yeah. He's pretty good with me, just... Mm. Here, you can have a little bit of sausage since he's not eating. Maybe he's feeling a bit more trusting of people. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's going to be so much easier if he's here every day. Yeah. And it might even be that I can actually give her the tablets to give to him tomorrow because she's good enough at it. Bobby! Okay. It's alright. It's okay. It's alright. Hey, it's okay. Here we go. There we go. He's doing way better. Yeah, he must. He, I think he he's know. in less pain because um, he was much more upset mm. last time, I think, because he was sore. I don't think he's going to be going far anyway, is he? Not now, he's not. Not now that he has a place to be. Huh? Someone took pity on you, which is nice. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Okay. Yeah. We found him! Yay. <laughs> okay, cool. Say hello to the camera. Hey, smile. You're a lovely boy, hey? A huge, huge thank you to everyone who made Blanquito's rescue and treatments possible. With the community here helping us, I'm so, so excited for you all to see just how far he comes. The second spay campaign ever for Puerto Madero is scheduled for the end of the month and was organised completely by the local and regional veterinarians and the community. Our first campaign that we funded was a huge success and has inspired this new campaign. We plan to sponsor 10 dogs operations from the very poorest areas of the community. So if you've ever considered making a donation or becoming a patron, now is a really awesome time. We appreciate how much you all stick by us through the boat work, when we save animals and as we continue to travel. We truly couldn't achieve all of this without you. Until next time, I hope you're all staying healthy and stay chuffed everybody.